welcome back to Arlington, Massachusetts for the Jenga Championship at ACMI. We've got a couple great contests tonight. So, uh, so what do you think the uh, chances are of our contestants against the champion, Katie? I think our contestants have a really good shot. Um, Julia has been practicing for months now, and she's already competed well at the junior level. Um, so I'm looking forward to see them put their passionate skills to the test against each other in the ultimate game of challenge. Do you think uh, Julia or Sin may come up with some sort of new strategy that could possibly defeat Katie? I mean, Katie's got this winning streak that, you know, it's got to end sometime. That is correct, Sin. Um, I believe that um, some of the strategies, such as mashing your opponents block for block, is a really good method. And both um, Sin and Julia, well, Sin especially, seems to have that strategy down pat. So I'm looking forward to what we see here tonight. All right. Well, without any further ado, let's get to the action. Welcome to the ACMI Jenga Championship. First up, we have Katie against Julia. The two contestants have already determined who's going first by playing rock, paper, scissors, and the honor goes to Julia for the first move. She starts with a safe move, taking a piece from the center. And Katie's doing a similar, but farther down. Ooh, Julia's making the first interesting move. And it looks like Katie's going to be, yes, Katie is countering on the other side. Oh, but Julia's continuing to play it safe. Ooh, but she has moved one of the uprights. <gasps> ah, no, no, no touching. No, no. Oh. And Katie takes advantage of Julia's mistake. And there goes another to the top. Katie's found another safe one, and up to the top it goes. Ooh, Julia heads towards the bottom of the pile. Oh, what's Katie gonna do now? She's, ah, uh, and she succeeds. Julia finds a nice, easy one to take out. I think Ju Julia's putting some pressure on Katie now. Katie's looking at it from multiple angles, trying to find the best. Oh, and she does well. It's another good one. I believe that's the one Katie had wanted to take, and Julia beat her to it. Katie's testing the water. Ooh, she found an easy one. Julia's testing the waters. now having to resort to the to the building top Ooh, there's one that Julia missed and Katie is taking full advantage of it Julia has 
has found one. <gasps> oh, and she does manage to get it through. And Katie manages a, another good one there. So what's Julia going to do? She keeps testing the bottom. Oh, she's found one near the bottom that seems to have been overlooked. Ooh, another nice play by Katie. And Julia has managed to get a relatively easy one. Uh, everything Katie's touching is now wobbling. Has Julia put her in a spot? <laughs> the pressure's really on Katie. She does manage to find, is it, is, yes, she does pull it off. Oh, that seemed to have impressed her opponent. <gasps> oh! And it looks like Katie wins this round. And the contestants congratulate each other. Join us when we come back for the next round. We're back here in beautiful Arlington, Massachusetts for game two of the ACMI Jenga Championships. Well, Katie really does seem to be on a roll after that first game. Uh, you know, Julia really put her effort into it and, and made some really good moves. But in the end, uh, Katie just prevailed. So, so what do you think of, of uh, Sin's chances in, in this next round? I think Sin is a fighter. She will do everything she can to win, even if her methods are somewhat unorthodox. So oh. I think that regardless of what we see, it's going to be a good game. Oh, they always are great games. Well, without any further, let's get to the action. Welcome back to the, to the ACMI Jenga Championships. It is the second round, Katie versus Sin. Sin has one rock, paper, scissors and will go first. Sin readies herself, tests a few blocks. She's taking the very strategic route here and takes out an edge piece. Katie. Also takes out an edge piece. One level up. It seems like they'll be going each level, depending on their strategy. Sin takes another edge piece. It seems unlikely there will be many safe moves tonight. Katie takes an edge piece from the other side, leaving that layer on one block. Sin takes an edge piece from the side opposite that was worked on earlier. Seems to be a battle of wits here. Katie is testing a few blocks. Takes the next block up successfully, and Sin does the same. Very daring, our contestants here. Katie. Just rethink your strategy and takes from the bottom. And Sin takes from exactly <laughs> opposite. Katie. Attempts to take from that side. Successfully. 
given how the balance is being altered, the right the risk of tipping has become greater with every move. <laughs> Wait, is the point commensurate or not commensurate? The point is more clear for me. I see our contestants <laughs> seem to not understand the rules of this game. <laughs> Katie takes a block from the other side, matching sin. There's now more weight on the top than the bottom. Mm. Sin seems to be considering her next move. She takes a rather risky oh. move, then reconsiders. We're going through a middle. Come on. What are you worried about? Sin oh. takes from the top <laughs> and it falls. No, I won. <laughs> oh, that works. Katie has won, despite Sin's celebration. Great job, both contestants. Yay. Well, there you have it. Katie just is unstoppable. Yes, she is. Katie seems to be doing very well. I am looking forward to seeing her next year at the next Jenga Championships. What we all do. And we thank you all so much for being here tonight. We'll catch you next year at the ACMI Jenga Games. <laughs>